Hi, this is Jim Colton from GraphPad. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the features of the entirely new bubble plot in PRISM 9, which utilizes the new categorical variable feature in PRISM 9's multiple variables data table and is the first of many new multiple variable graphs planned for version 9. Think of a bubble plot as an XY scatter plot with two added dimensions. The X and Y variables are numeric, just like in an XY scatter plot, but two additional variables can be represented by the symbol color and symbol size. These additional variables can be categorical variables or continuous. In the example shown here, all four variables are continuous. The bubble plot is a multiple variables data table graph that takes advantage of the new categorical variable feature in PRISM 9. Now, in multiple variables data tables, instead of coding a text variable with zeros and ones, you can simply enter text such as male and female directly in the data table. PRISM automatically identifies each variable as either continuous, categorical, or label. Just enter your data and let PRISM take care of the rest. Let's create a life expectancy versus birth rate bubble plot from this multiple variables data table with plotting point size proportional to the country population. And let's color the points according to the continent. Here you can see all four variables represented on the graph. One on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, and two in the legends. However, there is a warning message at the bottom of the graph about some of the symbols in the population size legend being too big to be shown at their true size. Also, some bubbles are hard to see due to overlap. To help with the overlapping symbols, let's use one of the new semi-transparent color schemes developed in PRISM 9 to handle this. With regard to the large symbols for some countries, double-clicking on the graph will allow you to change the bubble size as well as many other aspects of the graph, such as variable assignments and fill colors. Let's leave the variable assignments as they are. The fill color dialog allows you to choose the color and transparency for any of the continents. I'll leave these as they are too. By clicking on size, we can make the bubble sizes smaller for our graph. Let's choose three for the size of the smallest bubble. Now we can better see the relationship between birth rate and life expectancy. The higher the birth rate, the lower the life expectancy. You can also choose to add labels to each bubble. Although, in this case, there are too many labels to see each one clearly. Clicking and dragging on the X and Y axes to expand the graph will help show many of the labels, especially the outliers. Check out our other What's New in PRISM 9 videos to learn about other new features such as the estimation plot, principal components analysis, and the enhanced multiple variables data table.